Hi there, today I'll be demonstrating how I made or just giving a walkthrough of what I'm dubbing my flash gun. Um, all it is is a piece of wood, it's got a, a dog food bowl which is used as a, a reflector, uh, and it's just got some wires coming out the back. It has a hole here for the pyrotechnic charge. It's got wires going down so the positive side is just connected to the positive of this battery connector and the negative simply runs to a little button and then through the other side of the button it goes to the other side of that and then in here is a, a modified little light bulb from a Christmas tree and then on that is a pyrotechnic charge or a flash powder which then gives off a flash which you'll see later in the video. Now to simply illustrate this operation, I've just taken a little Christmas bulb, I trimmed the wires, I haven't done anything else to it yet, and I'll just put it in. There the bulb has been inserted, uh, and then you stick in the battery so that you you put the battery in last so that you don't accidentally fire it while you are working with it. Okay. Battery is inserted into the clip and then when I press the button. Here you can see the the charge goes off. Now to break the glass of the bulb, you just want to take a pair of pliers, you don't have to use ones like this. Uh, and then you try to get it so that the filament, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's two little things like that. You want to have it so that it's not facing you like that, but you can see it like that. And then you break it just around the tip, and then you just squeeze it enough to crack it. And then you take the tip of the pliers, and then you just like carefully break away the bits of glass until you get down to the base. Now, I'm not going to do that now because I don't have a bin to do it over, um, but once you've done breaking it, and you'll have a little filament exposed, and then uh, what you do is you just fill it with toilet paper, a very small amount around the base of the, uh, the filament, uh, which will prevent flash powder from going in and actually blowing it up. Now for the flash powder used in the, the bulb, uh, I use uh, an ad adapted version of uh, barium nitrate flash, uh, which is uh, there's potassium chlorate, barium nitrate and dark aluminium. Now to make this flash powder brighter uh, and a bit faster, uh, I added magnesium, um, but my magnesium powder, which you can see here, is a little bit coarse um, so it doesn't burn as fast as the dark aluminium uh, so I replaced about a third two-thirds of the volume of the metal with aluminium uh, with magnesium I left one-third of the metallic volume as still dark aluminium to help it burn faster um, because if it's got dark aluminium in it, it'll burn fast, which will help with uh, the photography. Uh, because when it burns fast, then it's a bright flash, but the person's going to blink. Um, which you can see here in the slow-mo footage. Uh, the subject did blink, but thankfully the flash was over before the person reacted to the flash. Uh, which is the intent of this, perp uh, this mixture. Um, from the few examples of people actually doing something like this, you can see that they do blink because they used not very fine magnesium powder, uh, which means it burns over maybe like half a second. Um, so during the exposure, the person has blinked, which then ruins the effect of the picture. But in these examples that you can see here, um, you can see that the subject was not blinking, um, and they are quite sharp because the flash occurred in such a short period of time. Now in order to prepare the flash you take a sheet of toilet paper 
This is the only thing that you can use to contain it that won't actually cause an explosion. And you just cut a little square. And you measure out, I just use these 9mm bullet casings. Uh, I've got this little powder thing that I use for measuring out the powder. Uh, obviously not everyone's going to have one of these so you just pour powder in through a piece of paper funnel. And then so I fill it to the top and this is about 0.7 grams of flash powder and you just want to pour it out into the center and then what you do is you just make sure that it's all in the middle you take your, your bulb and you try and press it into the center but make sure not to bend the filaments because you might break the thing that produces the heat so you hold it just above and you bring all the corners up and you crimp it up you take a piece of tape you wrap it around also make sure to just wrap it around the base so that don't have any loose edges. And there you have uh, one flash bulb prepared. One thing I forgot to mention, after you break your bulb, you always want to make sure that it's still got continuity. So you just put it on the lowest resistance setting. Uh, so you take your ammeter, and you just measure across the terminals. And if you see a number show up, then you know, okay, you've still got a connection. But if you touch it and nothing happens just like if you touch it and it does nothing um, then you know your bulb is broken you might as well throw it away or if you can see that the filament is still intact these bulbs if you just pull it out uh, and then you just push it back in maybe that will re-establish a connection and then you just try again but once your bulb is broken, uh, it's going to be a bit difficult, so you can just take like a pair of scissors and then you pull it out from its base. It's one handy trick. Alright, so I've loaded in the flash bulb. It's connected uh, to the little connector here. And then only once you are ready to fire, then you put in the battery, which I keep in my pocket. Pretending to have a camera in front of me, so pull it off, 3, 2, 1, press the button, flash, and then put the cap back on. You can see that it's deposited a hell of a lot of magnesium oxide inside the, the room. Uh, what you want to do is you just take a wet rag, you wipe it off, it'll smell a bit because it's making magnesium hydroxide. Uh, but you need to clean it off each time so that you don't lose the reflectiveness of your bowl. Uh, that's a very simple mechanism that I use for making a camera flash. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.